all right guys welcome back to the youtube channel i'm sorry i'm not using my laptop because time doesn't permit me for our line a you can see this is the tail and this is the head here for our line b this is the tail and this is the head for our line c the tail is up here the head is here for our line d the tail is uh, for our line yeah d the tail is here and the head is here at 12. so the first thing i want to do is i want to mark my point of origin for everybody so zero 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 so all of these guys they decided to put both their head and tail like far away from my origin like they just decided to appear anywhere so we are going to be applying heads and tail sorry i'm going to be applying heads and tail for each of them so for a where i have my head then i'll do x y z minus my tail right so doing this let's start reading or let's start taking our reading so for our A, right, this is our tail and this is our head. So let's take the region of our head first. So my goal is to go from this origin, right, down to this head. So if I go on X axis, go on Y axis, then go on Z axis, can you see it doesn't lead me there? So I know that my X is useless. So if I go back from my origin, go back to my origin and travel right towards on Y, knowing my X is zero and travel upward. So it gets me to my destination for the head. So this is how I travel. I go this way. I go this way and this way right so i know that my x is zero because i didn't go front towards x direction at all because i didn't go front towards x direction at all i just went y and z so i know my y is one and my z is one right the same thing goes for the tail so i travel forward on x if i should go on y i've deviated from my destination so instead i go x and z so for my x i go full direction and for my y is zero and for my z i'm going upward which makes it one so when i do the subtraction one minus one i get zero one minus zero i get one zero minus one i get minus one Let's go again for number two, which is our B. We say our head, then X, Y, and Z minus our tail. Then we take our answer. So this is B. This is our line B, right? So luckily for our B, the tail is at the origin. So we just go ahead and say our tail is equal to zero, 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 because it's stuck at the origin. Then for the head, now you need to take note that this head is not at the back here. It is in the center here. Like if I should draw this box, it is here, like an FCC atom. You get it's not at the wall here, it's at the center here. So let's take our reading. So if you come forward on X, right? If you come forward on X, you can't go to tab because if you go to tab, you go one, go Y, then we've deviated already. So when we're going on our X, we have to stop here because we have been told that it is half. Half, half. So we come half destination, we stop here, then on that half, we track on our Y, Y is full distance, then here we go upwards again. So we know that this 1 over 2, 1 over 2 they gave to us means this is our X and this is our Z, right? So let's take our reading. We go half on our X axis, right? Then we come here, we go 1 on our Y axis and we go half on our Z axis. So half minus 0 is half, 1 minus 0 is 1. Then we have half again. And we have head and we have tail. We have our subtraction. Then we have x, y, and z. Then we close our bracket. So for our c, this is our head here. The harrow head is here. Then the tail is up here like at this point. It is not in the center. It is up here at this point. So to get our head, is a very straight journey. This is our origin. We just go on. So we know that here our x is 1. Then every other guy has 0, 0 then for our tail right we know we come one on x direction we go on y direction so we can't go for on y because we go for on y we've passed our point so we stop at this point which is half right so one on x half on y then we go upward on z which is total one so by the time we do our math we have minus one minus half and we have zero all right so let's go for our d so i'm sorry about the surrounding noise i'm used to making videos at night so this is our tail and this is our head so let's do for our head first we know the head is here at the middle half here so we know we've go one on x we go upward on z we don't need to go y so we know our x is one y is zero because we're not going right towards at all then we are going upwards which is the z that is half so for the tail the tail is here half junction it's not on full so we come forward half, right? We come forward half, 
so we write our half 1 over 2 sorry then we go this direction which is 1 which is 1 total of 1 on y then for our z is actually nothing so you do the subtraction again we have half minus 1 and we have half Okay, so finally, this is the last step. You bring out our direction. So because this direction, we have 1, 1, 0. Then for these guys, you multiply all through by 2. So these two cancels these 2 times 2. This becomes 2. Then this one cancels. So we have 1, 2, 1 for our direction, right? Then for this guy, we multiply all through by 2 again. So 2 cancels these 2. This becomes 2. Then this cancels 2. So we have 1, by two and one in our direction then for this last guy you must power two by two so we have zero cancels this one so we have bar bar one sorry we have bar one then we have bar two yeah